I'm gonna cut it. Please do not hit the, the, the oil tank. The first one's just a practice. I know, run. I know where. No, yeah, yeah, it's okay, it's okay. It's not everything's going there, but yeah. please do not hit the oil tank. I'm, I'm really worried. And I know we are driving a Range Rover. Obviously, yeah. you should. Um, obviously, you are doing pretty well with your wedding business. Now, tell us about um, how do you, you know, why, you, why does your client book you? Um, I think my clients book me because I offer um, all kinds of styles in one. So I do love shooting very naturally and candid sort of style images. But I also love, one of my most favourite things is being able to create images and beautiful art pieces for my clients. So I don't have a specific style when I shoot a wedding. I shoot the wedding, um, I shoot weddings all differently and I just love being inspired by light and different lights and natural light and flashes and so I think I feel like I have a very um, big range of different styles when I shoot weddings. Talk about the, the wedding today, what sort of wedding is it like? So shooting? we have a, um, a church wedding so um, we are doing, so we're going to the brides now. Um, the groom has opted not to have his preparations covered, which is fine. Um, so just the bride, uh, we'll start with her and we'll do a couple of beautiful shots of her putting on her dress and some detailing shots and play around with all different kind of lights. And then we'll head over to the church. We'll check out the church, hopefully, it's not, you know, one of those churches where it's throwing out all weird colours and stuff, so, which is usually what all churches are, a really low light situation, so we'll definitely be getting the flash out for that. And then we'll head over to the ceremony, uh, sorry, reception. The reception is a, um, a sort of winery style wedding. Awesome. It's actually not winery, it's more country feel. Um, it's beautiful. And here we are today, starting at the bridal preparations, and we are greeted by the bride's lovely father, who is so excited to see his daughter get married today. The house is quite small, but we have noticed in the master bedroom, there is a nice window for natural lighting. We will begin taking the photos, but because it is an overcast day, we notice that the images with natural light only is a little bit flat. So I asked my assistant to go outside with the AD200 Pro and face it towards the window. What we are doing here is mimicking the look of sunlight. We then begin to take photographs of the bride mother putting on the veil, but we notice that the natural light only is making their faces look quite dark in the images. So with the assistant bouncing light off the white ceiling using the AD200 Pro, we are able to get some more light in the room whilst giving that overall natural feel. We then proceed to do the same throughout the rest of the photographs in the room. <laughs> Perfect. A big hug for Dad. <laughs> oh. Oh. After we have taken our normal bridal portraits, it's time to get creative. The house is small, like I said, and we don't have much going on there, but what we do notice is a door with an interesting glass feature. So we put our bride behind the door and with the AD200 Pro facing towards her and I am on the outside of the glass trying to capture something really unique and different. After that we then proceed to the hallway and we notice that there's a picture hanging on the wall. So the aim here is to capture her reflection. 
So I set her up at the end of the hallway and face her towards a doorway opening where my assistant is holding the AD200 probe. So here we are at the ceremony and this is the time where we have to just capture the ceremony as is. And I'm going to play it safe here and probably use the V1 flash on camera. It is very dark in the church so I am going to have to use flash in this situation. If we were shooting outside I would probably just use natural light but because we're inside a church I want to create a beautiful soft lighting feel. And so what I've done is I've put a soft diffuse dome on top of the V1 flash and I've directed the flash to the ceiling so that I can bounce the light from the ceiling. This helps minimise unnecessary shadows in the image. It also creates a more natural light feel. Okay, we are now up to the couple's portrait. We have arrived on location and it is raining and pouring. We're going to take a walk around now and I've noticed that there is a rustic shed and inside it's looking really cool. However, it is very dark. I've noticed that there is some timber railing on the side of the building. And so what I've done here is I've asked my assistant to go outside. I've set up my couple sitting down on the bench and the AD200 Pro with a warm colour gel as well as a grit. I have asked my assistant to direct the AD200 Pro towards the couple to mimic sunlight. So I want it to look like it's sunset and the light is coming through the side of the building there. Looking at this image, you wouldn't even be able to tell that it has been raining all day. Next location is a beautiful hallway inside the reception cottage. So I've asked my couple to head down to the midway of the hallway where I know that there's another room where I can hide my assistant behind the doorway with an AD200 Pro. And I've decided that I want to put a grid on the AD200 Pro. This is to minimize the spread of light. I really don't want the light spreading all over the walls. I want to keep that light directed on the couple. I've also decided that I want to put a diffused dome on top of the AD200 Pro. This is also to keep the couple's faces looking nice and soft and diffused. So I have spotted a staircase and I love shooting with staircases. And I've noticed above me, there's some interesting lights coming above. So what I want to do here is I'm going to set my couple at the bottom of the staircase and I've asked my assistant to hide in the doorway with the AD200 Pro. I've set them up in a way where I know the flash is going to hit them both in a beautiful way. I've kept the grid and the soft dome again on this and this is both to help minimise the spread of light and also keep the light nice and soft and diffused. We have very minimal inside shooting options now. We are trying our best to find locations as it's still raining so much outside. And we walked into the bathroom, which is probably not a spot that you would usually look, but we found this beautiful window and we've decided to set up our couple just near the window. And I've asked my assistant again to head outside with the AD200 Pro. And what we're going to do here is create the look of sunlight outside the window. All right, it's time now to photograph the reception. And after the couple have done their bridal entrance, their couple are taking their seats. And I've noticed behind them is a beautiful backdrop. So I've asked the assistant with the AD200 Pro and also keeping the warm color gel and the grid on there. So we're able to match the background to the overall feel of the image. Put the toilet seat there. That's very important. <laughs> 
Okay, now it's time to do speeches and I've decided in this situation I want to get a little bit more creative with my lighting. So my assistant has the AD200 Pro on a light pole and he's pointing the flash towards the speakers and he's also pointing the flash towards guest reactions. I'm photographing from different angles, which creates a more different style of lighting than on-camera flash lighting. You can see in this situation that me and my assistant are working together as a team. He is watching me move around and capturing different scenes, and he knows where to place the flash. Dance floor party shots. I love capturing dance floor party shots. You can get so many personalities and fun shots in this situation. Again, I love doing backlit shots. My assistant stays behind my bride and her dad with the AD200 Pro, and I am following my bride and her dad to make sure the flash is behind them. Once I know that I've got my shots, I'll then proceed again to use the V1 flash. I'll just go around capturing all the fun and party shots throughout the night using the on-camera V1 flash. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I hope you got some awesome and helpful tips using the AD200 Pro and the V1 flash, and I hope that you have learned something from my tutorial today.